Hey guys, came across this little, uh, little guide over here on the Steam Controller Forum by Dawes if you're having trouble with Origin. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically lock Origin into its old mode. So go to the Origin EXE, right click, go into Properties, and you want to set compatibility back, you want to set it back some to Windows uh, XP so apply that, then launch Origin, and then this is going to push Origin back to a previous version. So it's counterintuitive, but you actually you want to let, let this update, you know, accept the agreement. So what this is doing is basically downgrading it, because one of the problems was the new version won't close after you quit a game. It's just, yeah, it just, who cares? Like, yeah, we're running it in compatibility mode, we know. So do this. You're gonna sign into Origin. This is just a warning, basically, hey, Origin can't do all the annoying stuff you don't really want to use it for anyways, because <laughs> we're putting the game into Steam. So just close that. So now I just want to go over the settings in here. You're not going to have to do this every time, this is just the initial setup. So, we want, you know, keep the game updating. You do not want Origin up to date. Uncheck that if it is. Because that would just, that would undo everything we're trying to do here. You don't want Origin enabled in-game. And in advance, you want automatic exit. That was removed from the most previous version of Origin, so make sure that's checked. And then go to taskbar, exit, because we just we just want to test all this. Or actually, no, we're not going to test it first. We're going to go back in to the properties, turn off the compatibility. We don't need that. And that'll just keep giving you an annoying pop-up. So take the compatibility off, then let's test it out. So we launch it in, you know, it's back to the older interface, didn't get any warnings, things are looking pretty good. So from here, let's, uh, we'll close it out, exit everything, and then we're just going to test it. So make sure you're signed out, like from the taskbar. So yeah, we're all good. And then this, this would obviously be after you've already added the shortcut into Steam. So, okay, I launch it from Steam. Now, really important part is as the game's loading, look on the bottom corner where the mouse is right now. That. You need to see that. If you don't see that, you're probably not going to get your profile. So, keep troubleshooting until you see that little thing pop up. That's letting you know it's using the Steam controller. So, yeah. I mean, I hope that helps. That's all I got. Oh! They can make it perfect through software. Is really, I mean, that's what I'm going to say. Rebel bike destroyed. <laughs> the butt crawl. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Okay. Yes, you get it. <clears throat> yes, I feel it. The energy vibrating. <laughs> oh.